Now, I see that a lot of students had the right idea, so I'm looking pretty happy here. And they're basically the same thing again, and guys. Please make sure you guys have the distinction. When we're adding or subtracting rational expressions, our objective is to get the same denominator so we can combine them, right? But when we're solving, we're trying to get rid of rational expressions. So the first thing we do, though, in both cases is we determine the LCD, which in this case, ladies and gentlemen, is just going to be the product. These do not divide into one another or have their common elements. So therefore, it's just going to be the product, 2x minus 3 times 5x minus 2x. 5 minus 2x. Then all we simply do is take each of our common denominators and we multiply it by both expressions. 2x minus 3 times 5 minus 2x and 2x minus 3 times 5 minus 2x. Now, since we have, since we multiplied each by the denominator, we see that 2x minus 3 divides into our common denominator 5 minus 2x times. And 5 minus 2x divides into our common denominator 2x minus 3 times. So therefore, I have 3 times 5 minus 2x equals to 1 times 2x minus 3. Well, 1 times anything is just going to be the same, right? But I have to apply the distributive property. So I have 15 minus 6x equals, was that how I wrote it in there? Equals 2x minus 3. Now I get the x's on the same side. Now, where, which side do I get in the x's on? Does it matter? No. No. So I'm just going to get the x positive. So I'm going to put it on the right side. So I have 15 equals 8x minus 3. Then I get everything else on the other side. So I add 3, add 3, 18 equals 8x, divide by 8, divide by 8, x equals um, 9 fourths when you reduce it. Why would you need to get it equal to 0?